Okay. Millie. <laughs> how, how have the shoulder exercises been going? So can we have a look at, we won't get you to run through all of the sets of all of the exercises, but can we just have a look at a handful of each of the ones so that we can check and make sure technique wise that we're happy and see if there's any yeah. progressions that we then want to run through. Yeah, no, that's okay. Ultimately, that's not a bad thing because that actually having some variation in the um, in the height of the attachment of the elastic actually adds um, some difference in the line of force, which is better for us to keep varying that a little bit anyway because you're not always going to put the same degree of force through your shoulder in exactly the same plane. Just make sure that you're getting that shoulder blade set into a really good a really good position before you start that movement though. So just try a couple more with the shoulder blade set first. That's better. Yeah, yeah, That's a much, I like that position. And then make sure on the release phase of your arm movement that you keep and maintain that shoulder blade position. Yep, slowly back and then slowly forwards, but keep your shoulder blade, keep your shoulder blade, keep your shoulder blade, good. And then release it for each one. So you're resetting it each time. Does that feel comfortable enough doing that? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. So can we have a look at um, exercise number two? Good. And again, make sure that you keep that shoulder blade position on the lowering phase. So as you release, um, as you release the rotation and as the arm then comes back forwards, make sure that the shoulder blade is being kept pulled back. Good, slow rotation, slowly forwards, slowly raise the arm and shoulder blade then last. Yep, that's good. Thanks Steve, are you happy with the elbow position there? Like when it comes back as you rotate so it doesn't stick? Yeah, so up. in a perfect world we probably want to keep that so that the rotation from side on, that the rotation happens with a high elbow rather than the elbow yeah, dropping yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if we can keep that elbow up high, imagine merely that you've almost got your elbow like resting on an imaginary platform there so that as you do the rotation, your elbow doesn't drop down as you rotate. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good one more crack. Nice. Slow release, keep the elbow, keep the shoulder blade. Yep. Nice. Does that feel okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to sort of play around with the tension. Of yes, yeah. And, that, and that's probably, the, they're, they're the things at the moment that I would get you to focus on too, would be playing around with um, tension on the elastic, but also the attachment height or attachment point of your elastic. Mixing that up yeah. a little bit so that sometimes you might actually have it hooked around the bottom of the couch so that it's real down low. And other times you might actually hook it around the top corner of a door and close the door so that it's actually angling higher. Um, yeah. So mi mix up that angle so that that's providing some variation for the exercise as well. But, but yeah. maintenance of scapular position and maintenance of arm position when you're doing the rotation, um, they'd be really key things for us. Yeah. Beauty.